question. They told me you had a very nice story to tell me about because I was asking about what research you are doing in water. Could you please present yourself and explain me the story? I'm Martin Reitzmeier and I'm from Austria, from a private research institute, AINTEC. And uh, until a few years ago, I had the opportunity to uh, participate in the EU funded project Zero M. Uh, sustainable concepts towards uh, zero outflow municipality. This was a project in the um, Meda Water Program. And we were just uh, sitting and working in the office of the Tunisian partner, um, which was refurbished during this project. So that was an outcome, a positive outcome for the Tunisian partner. Yeah. We had partners in several Mediterranean countries. And for me, it was a great opportunity to work on sustainable water management, even though I'm Austrian, where if I talk about sustainable water management with Austria only using 3% of our water resources, everybody gets quite bored or just bored. Uh, whereas in, uh, in Mediterranean countries, water is an important issue. And so um, here there was the opportunity to uh, work at this um, topic. That is possibly one uh, lesson to learn. You can only uh, look for answers where people feel a pressing problem. Otherwise, there is no way to engage with people on, on a topic. And here, water is a pressing problem. So they were willing to work with us on sustainable water management and to um, reflect with us. We had a, also quite a great partnership. I mean, the partnership is still going on even after the project. And that's prob uh, probably another part of the success that uh, we became, uh, if we weren't already, we became friends during the project. And we're still friends and meeting and uh, looking for other projects. The, uh, just around the corner, there is um, what we called a training and demonstration center, one of four actually that were built in this project. And these um, training and demonstration centers are quite uh, efficient tools to teach what we figured out through the project to the next generation of students and researchers. They can do research, they can see how it works, they, um, it can also, uh, the technologies which were implemented at these centers can also be shown to other interesting people, politicians, um, uh, uh, people from uh, authorities, so experts from authorities, interested clients possibly. And all the, actually all the four training centers are still used. That is um, also a sign that this was an interesting approach. I think that the approach of the project was quite good. Um, first of all, it addressed the question which was relevant, but then also the, the dissemination approach, the cooperation approach, um, the way to deal with the question were designed in a way that it worked. And uh, the result is that the, what came out of the project is now um, um, asked for by the authorities of the uh, countries uh, we were part uh, we had partners in uh, the teams of the different countries are now uh, requested to participate in uh, national and even international fora they have developed new projects on the basis of what was uh, developed in the uh, in zero m what we heard uh, uh, at and what we produce together. I think uh, um, there is quite some impact, even though there were, was little direct impact on society in terms of implementations, uh, because um, what we developed is quite a new approach. So things are now slowly coming and are concretized and uh, getting uh, towards implementation. Thank you, Doctor.